The first season of Gen V has recently concluded, and it's safe to say that it dominated the TV scene for the past five weeks. However, with the finale finishing off in a way that left massive questions out there, I thought I'd take a look at all that was out there along with giving my theories and predictions on what I think could happen next. So let's get into it. Here is Gen V Season 2 Theories and Predictions and Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Release Date So in terms of the release date, there's already one massive thing that's going in the show's favour. After only a couple of weeks of being released, the show was commissioned for a second season, and it was announced to the public that another one would be on the way. This was following the series being sat at the top of the Prime Video Top 10 charts for several weeks in many, many countries around the world. Apparently over 100, so it showed just how popular it was and how much of an impact that it made in such a short amount of time. With it also being connected to the boys, it felt like there was always going to be another season on the way anyway, just due to the fact that the stories flowed so seamlessly into another, and they were almost both needed for the greater good of the development of the story. So taking that into consideration, with regards to the strikes at the moment, the writers' union and the studios have come to an agreement, so writers are back working on shows. However, the actors are still on strike, so that's something that will most likely delay the production of the show if a resolution isn't met soon. With the boys traditionally having around a one-year gap between each season, and there even being just over a year's gap between season three of the boys and the first season of Gen V, I think we're most probably going to get the second season of the show in two years' time, as I would imagine that the next show in the universe to be released will be the fourth installment of The Boys, as by next year we would have been waiting two years for that to arrive. So I would predict that once that's out of the way, then we'll most likely get the next installment of Gen V. So we've got a little while to wait. However, with it seeming like the characters from this show are most likely going to be appearing in the fourth season of The Boys in some capacity, we'll probably be able to see them way before the second season of this show even gets released. What could happen in season two? Now, this is the part of the video that I was looking forward to digging into, the theories about what could happen in the next season of Gen V, but more particularly as well, season four of The Boys, because it very much feels like the story of this season of the show is going to flow directly into The Boys especially with the way that Billy Butcher appeared right at the end of the finale in the post credit scene. So with the group waking up inside of the facility and then wearing a gown which was covered in Vs, which most likely stands for Vord, I don't think that they're in any immediate danger. I say this because Emma had a pink beverage in her hands and Andre had his phone in his hand too. So it's not like they're being restrained or restricted when it comes to being connected to the outside world or being like a prisoner. It's clear to see that they're being branded as the ones that caused the damage, which is surprising considering that everybody on campus saw that it was Kate and Sam that caused the massacre. But with Homelander smiling at the end, it looks like he's almost proud of the destruction that was caused by them, and it could have been his influence which meant that Sam and Kate were marked as the heroes. He could have endorsed them in some way. So in terms of the development of the story, I think we're going to see Marie, Emma, Jordan and Andre most likely being on the side of the boys once they get their way out of Ford and the facility. Newman may even be able to get Marie and the group out of there. Even though it was said that there were no doors or windows, there was a giant door above them which most likely led to their way out. With Butcher entering the woods at the end of the finale, this has most likely only added towards his feeling of hatred and understanding of how corrupt Ford is. He was on the receiving end of Mallory's phone call where she spoke with Shetty and Shetty revealed all about the virus, so he's definitely going to be embarking on finding a way to get this virus, as he'll probably be aware of the fact that it's gone missing. He'll want it so that he can weaponize it for his own personal gain and mission in taking out Homelander. We know that he also wants to take down Newman, as he mentioned at the end of Season 3 of The Boys, so that's something that will most likely cause some kind of confliction with Marie, as Newman is basically another version of Marie when it comes to the powers that they both share. There's a relatability there, and judging by the conversation in Episode 7 of Gen V, Marie felt some kind of connection there too. With regards to Kate and Sam, it very much seems like they're on the side of Homelander, they express the same attitude and mindset of complete destruction and making the person pay in front of them if they've done something wrong. So with Homelander potentially taking them under his wing and branding them as heroes, it's only going to add to their ego and feed it like it does Homelander, potentially making mini hymns. This could ultimately be leading to a boys versus the seven fight where Marie and the group will be on the side of Billy and the rest of the boys, and Homelander and Kate could be on the side with Homelander and what remains of the seven. Something which would be epic to see. 
I think we're going to see Marie's sister being tied into the story a bit more as well when the show develops on. Vought are clearly aware of Marie's sister. They know her details and they promised them to Marie during the climax of the finale. This makes me think that she could be a soup and her parents could have given her V when she was younger, just like they did to Marie. With Marie being extremely powerful, that could also mean that her sister could have powers that put her at the top of her game as well, something which would be interesting to see. I think Marie's sister would still have the same mindset that she had when she last saw Marie, thinking that she was a monster. So it would most likely result in a frosty reunion and a face-off where they both end up using their powers against each other, something which could end up surprising Marie, as she may not even know that she's a soup. But the fact that Vaud has her in the books, it definitely makes me think that she's got some powers. In terms of Andre and his father, I think we're going to see Andre struggling with his powers just like how his father was. We even saw that Andre was struggling after lifting down the helicopter, so maybe he has the same condition as what his father does, which is when he uses his powers, part of his brain gets worn away, and it ultimately slowly kills him. With Polarity saying that he wanted Andre to wear the suit and become the new Polarity, I think Andre will do it to please his father and to be the hero that he always wanted to be, but he may struggle due to the potential hereditary condition and it being on his mind. With regards to the virus, the main thing in this season of the show, I think although it's something that will kill Newman if she gets infected and having it spread out amongst the Sioux population wouldn't necessarily go in her advantage, I think we will see her look to find a way to weaponize it so that she can use it against the likes of Homelander and other soups that she wants to neutralize. We're seeing different ways that Homelander can potentially be killed after four seasons in this universe, and the virus is one where it looks like a given. The fact that it latches onto V in the soup's blood and slowly kills them is something that would be unavoidable. So I think Victoria Newman will look to find a way to use it in her own way. However, she'll most likely have the boys on her trail and also Marie and the rest of the group as well. There are so many different directions that the next season of Gen V and the boys could go in, and I'm excited to see what ends up happening. The cast. In terms of the cast members, there weren't any major deaths that occurred in the season finale. Despite there being a ton of deaths and a bloodbath, all of the deaths that we saw were NPCs or slightly more main NPCs such as Social Media Jeff. But outside of the season finale, we did have the major death of Dean Shetty and Dr. Cardosa, so they most definitely won't be returning. So putting that aside, I would predict that we'll see Jess Sinclair return as Marie, Chance Podoma returning as Andre, Lizzie Broadway as Emma, Maddie Phillips as Kate, London Thor and Derek Liu as Jordan, Asa German as Sam, Alexander Calvert as Rufus, Maya J. Bastidas as Justine, and Sean Patrick Thomas as Polarity. I also wouldn't rule out any of the characters from The Boys also making an appearance, such as Ashley, Homelander, Victoria Newman, Mallory, and even Billy Butcher. So there are endless possibilities when it comes to the shows crossing over and the cast members that could appear. We're most likely going to get a ton of new individuals too. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about the development of the show. I'm sure more information will be released as time goes on. So, there you have it. Gen V Season 2 Theories and Predictions and Everything We Know.